Shaker from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I guess this question is more directed towards Senator um, Clark. Um, I'm from a really depressed part of the Midwest, Cincinnati. I, I think I could probably relate to Detroit a lot. And um, in terms of urban population, um, beyond being South Asian American, when you were targeting downtown Detroit, um, I don't know how it's like in Detroit, but in Cincinnati, it's, it's very tough, what we found out, to get people to vote and to actually get people interested in politics, rather than persuading them that your, your issues are the issues that are correct. Um, just going out there and trying to get them to the polls, because um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Cincinnati, but um, recently there's a lot of racial issues, and um, the, the citizens have basically lost faith in local government itself. So restoring that faith, how, how would you go about doing that? And um, I feel like you can relate the most because you're from downtown, you represent downtown Detroit. Um, but I mean, if you could all kind of, even even in Iowa and even in Maryland, if you could kind of base that question. All right, here's what I'll do. Um, and it's Shaker, right? Right, right. Not from Shaker Heights. No, I'm from Cincinnati. <laughs> okay, I had to throw that Four hours away. Okay, a <laughs> um, couple things. You know, regarding your issue of targeting, that's something I did not mention about practical politics. When I first ran, um, in fact, virtually all of my elections, except the odd mayoral election, I only went after people that I knew would already vote. I wasn't trying to inspire people who didn't vote to go to the polls. Because I thought, hey, that's going to be too difficult. I've got to get to the people I know are going to vote. So really, I don't know if that was that effective. So I was actually going after the traditional voter, who traditionally never voted for anybody like me. So that was my, my strategy. Target the people most likely to vote. And that's how I, I did it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, your other point, I'm going to reference this young man who's behind you, Anand, which what Anand actually said something about us as Indian Americans, is that we can kind of, I'm going to paraphrase it because I actually forgot the exact quote, but um, that we can reach out to everyone. We're talking about in a racial, ethnic sense. Metro Detroit is very segregated. It has a history of racial discrimination and racial polarization. Uh, and initially, again, it could have been difficult you know, for someone like me to get elected. But in a way, because of who I am, because of my heritage, I think I'm able to be more effective to bridge that gap between blacks and whites. Uh, and again, I think that's something that we, I mean, because of who we are, as Asian Americans, as Indian Americans, can actually be very effective politically that way.